What's going on guys? Josh Sykes back with you for OutdoorNewsAmerica.com. As always, if you like the content we're producing, if you like our short little videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. There it is. Leave us a thumbs up on the video so that we know you're watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I always try to do my best to answer those for you or find the answer for you. That's what we're here for. In the studio with me today, I've got something really cool about. What is this right here? Looks like a wallet, right? That's why I like it, but it's not. This is actually a holster for a really special gun I'm excited to share with you today. This is the Seacamp 32 ACP. Now, I've got this gun in two versions. This is the all black version, and in my pocket, I've got another version in a sticky holster. This is the polished version with the extended pink, uh, pinky mag. Now, I want to show both of these to you, and I want to tell you a little bit about these guns because I'm sort of infatuated with these things. Let me tell you how I came across this. I was at the NRA show this year and happened across the C Camp booth. Had a little booth at the NRA show. I was intrigued with what I saw. They had all these various little color options uh, of these guns on the booth. I walked up there, met with a nice gentleman who was showing these guns to uh, the general public. I had heard of Sea Camp before in the past, but I never had an opportunity to learn about the product, uh, learn about the rich history of the company. In my opinion, they're probably one of the most uh, unknown firearm companies uh, in the firearms community, but they really make a cool little product. This gun here is 100% of made in America. Anytime you can get a 100% made in America firearm, I think that's a positive thing. And in my opinion, this is probably the smallest double action handgun on the market today. Uh, I have not seen one that is larger than this. It has a very unique action, as you can see there, kind of the, uh, the barrel itself is actually built into the frame of this. It's got a long 11 and a half pound trigger pull, and that's really on purpose. There's no manual safety uh, on this small gun. So you wanna have a long trigger pull, a very heavy trigger pull, to kind of act as a safety feature. I mean, you don't want a hair trigger when there's no manual safety. Uh, as with all little mouse guns, your mag release is down here on the bottom. That's going to release the magazine. Uh, it's got a 6 plus 1 a capacity round. This is the 32 ACP. They also make these in a 380. Uh, so you can get the 32. They now have the 380. They've got about five or six different color options uh, that you can purchase these in, but I want to show this little holster. This holster is made for them by DeSantis Holsters. You know DeSantis is one of my favorite holster companies. I talk about them a lot, and I was kind of excited when Seacamp uh, sent this to me. It's even got the Seacamp logo on it right there. But I love this setup, and here's why looks like a wallet. You can carry this in your back pocket. Uh, if you're, it's summertime when you're wearing your shorts, you can slide this in the front pocket of your shorts. It really protects that trigger guard area really, really well. And this is gonna have virtually no imprinting whatsoever. Uh, so if you're looking to uh, conceal carry this summer, a nice little pocket pistol, hey listen, the C-Camp needs to be in your lineup. Uh, needs to be in your choice options. Now, a couple of things I do want to point out about this little handgun. When I got it in the box, Seacamp only recommends hollow point ammunition. And I thought that was a little weird. I reached out to them and said, why only hollow point ammunition? Well, the hollow point uh, casings are a little bit shorter than the full metal jacket. And this being such a tiny handgun, it just seems to operate the hollow points uh, a lot smoother, a lot more effectively. And uh, so, you know, that's what they recommend. So that's what I recommend using in this. Another thing they recommend, if when you are inserting the magazine into the C Camp, don't pull the trigger. Uh, there's something about the magazine holding the trigger and all that in place. Don't pull the trigger while you're inserting the magazine. Just leave that trigger alone. 
uh, when you're inserting that magazine, you won't have any problems. You know, there's no sights. Uh, there's no real sight channel. I mean, you don't need that. This is not a gun that you're going to be shooting out 40 or 50 yards with. This is a 5 to 10 yard away handgun. Uh, 32 ACP hollow point, in my opinion, is, I mean, it's plenty. There's, there's going to be a lot of negative naysayers out there that say, well, that's not enough stopping power, and yada, yada, yada. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't want to get shot with anything uh, ever. And so I think if you're shooting at a perpetrator with a 32 ACP, uh, they're probably not going to hang around that situation very long. It's a lot better than a stick. Uh, so I'm comfortable carrying it. I think you should be too. Check them out online. The website, ccamp.com. You're going to love this little product. Uh, you're not going not to go wrong with it. On the price point, people have asked me about, what do one of those things run? You know, they kind of look similar to little of the old Saturday night specials or something like that. They're nothing like this old Saturday night like Saturday night specials. I can promise you that. The C-Camp is going to be super reliable, American-made. It's going to run like a top. It is going to run you upwards of $600 plus MSRP. But this isn't uh, in that same category as your $120 Saturday night specials. This is a 100% American made, long lasting, reliable, rich history firearm company that backs their product 100%. So it is definitely a firearm that I would recommend. I think you'd really, really enjoy it. Check them out online, ccamp.com. You won't be disappointed. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon.